The San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, impacting over 19,000 youth in Texas every year. It's back and it's better than ever. But first, we honor a San Antonio tradition with the Cattle Drive. A herd of Longhorn make their way across Houston Street in the heart of downtown. The Old West comes back to life, complete with mounted infantry, authentic wagons, and of course, cowboys. The Western Heritage Parade kicks off rodeo season. For the 75th year, let's rodeo San Antonio. Live from downtown San Antonio, the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. SA Live coverage powered by your local San Antonio area Chevy dealers. Oh, it looks like we have our friends from SA Live. And welcome everybody. We are walking through history right now as the Old West comes alive here in San Antonio as the cattle come through downtown where the Chisholm Trail used to run. Welcome to the 2024 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive, our SA Live coverage brought to you by your San Antonio area Chevy dealers. This of course is the official kickoff to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Good morning everybody, I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorostiza. All right, well we are live right now and as you can see right behind us, that is the Kimball Cattle Ranch Texas Longhorns. Oh yeah, and we we have started and we can't stop right now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this parade is bigger and better than ever. <laughs> Thousands of people are already lining the street right now. And of course, all the entries are either on cowboy boots, wagon wheels, or hooves like the ones in behind us. And of course, those gentle giants carry with them all of the traditions of the Lone Star State and that heritage that we are celebrating and honoring today. That's right, and it is a straight shot down Houston Street and we are walking it or hoofing it. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> you know, in the past couple of years, there's been some construction on Houston Street right about here. So the parade has had to make a left turn, a couple of right turns coming back, which a little difficult to do when you've got about 50 to uh, maybe 75 cattle or so. But yeah, like you said, straight shot starting at 35 and going through downtown. And of course we are ending at the Alamo. Yes, and uh, we have our Jen Tobias joining us from Houston and Jefferson Street downtown, as well as David Elder from Texas Eats joining us at the Vaquero Cook-Off there at Market Square. And first, we are gonna to toss it to Jen just up the road from us right there in downtown. Hey, let's rodeo, Jen. Hey, yes, let's rodeo. Thanks, y'all. Yes, and you can see them throughout the show on our cattle cam, powered by San Antonio Packing Company, APCO Brand Meats. Now, they'll make their way here to where I am, and then, of course, all the way down to the Alamo. Now, as we patiently wait for them to arrive here on Houston and Jefferson, we want to thank our broadcast sponsor, your local San Antonio area Chevy dealers. And joining me now is Daryl Dixon, the president of the San Antonio area Chevy dealers local marketing association. Good morning. Good morning, Jen. Well, this is a beautiful truck behind us. It's the new Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. Now let's talk about why it's the perfect vehicle for any cowboy or cowgirl. Yes, yeah, so this is the 2024 Chevy Silverado Z71 Trail Boss package. This truck comes standard with a two inch lift, 18 inch all-terrain tires, monotube shocks, skid plates. Whether you're towing, hauling, or just enjoy off-roading, this is the truck. Oh, this would be so fun to go off-roading. Okay, what are some of the features also inside? Well, it's completely redesigned inside with a 13.4 integrated screen. You could actually, with Apple CarPlay, display your phone up on the screen so that you can keep your eyes on the road. 10-way power seats, heated and cooled, multiple USB ports. It's like having your own office on wheels. That is amazing. Yes, those wheels are really huge. Okay, so let's talk about the parade today. How excited are you for that? Um, I've always enjoyed the parade. You know, Chevrolet is always involved in the community, but uh, just to come out and support the Western Heritage Parade and the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, we're very proud that Chevrolet's involved. We're always happy to see you, Daryl. Thanks for bringing this beautiful truck. And thanks again to the San Antonio area Chevy dealers. Now I am going to go ahead and toss it over to our David Elder from Texas Eats. He's at Market Square, the Vaquero Cook-Off. David, what's cooking over there? I tell y'all, it's cooking out here. Here you go, here's a free sample for you. We're live on TV right here, you guys. And we're giving out free samples of the Polish sausage by Apco Brand Meats. Would you like a free sample, sir? Would you like a free sample? Oh, of course. 
So we're actually stationed here at the Bakero Cook-Off at Market Square, the historic Market Square, which is a hop and a skip away from the parade route. And you guys, happening right now is the cook-off. We have a junior cook-off happening right behind us. This is different culinary programs, high school programs from all across the area, Johnson City, Carnes City. There's also the big cook-off happening in the back over by the commissary area. And you can see all these vendors out here as well. This whole event is just so fantastic. And I feel like every year, Every year it just gets bigger and bigger. And look, there's even a lemonade stand right here. Look at that, go and give us a wave. And you guys, it is just a blast. And you know what's really cool too, is when you come out here to Market Square, you see me out here at La Margarita, you guys can come out here and get a free sample of the Polish sausage from Apco Brand Meats. And you can see we have them all lined up. We're cooking some fresh ones. Would y'all like a free sample? There you go. There it is. We're getting them. So just like this, that's how easy it is. There you go. Yeah, hey, there you go. You know my friend Angel. Yeah, I already got married. Yeah, I know Angel. Yeah, good friend of mine. He told me about you. I see all the time. Oh, thanks for watching, man. I appreciate it. So we're having a blast out here, y'all. We got the jalapenos going. We got some onions cooking up as well. Walk around the event, enjoy Market Square, come grab some sausages, and just have fun out here. It's the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. And I know two people who are having a blast right now, Mike and Fiona, you guys are out there. You got the Longhorn right behind you. Oh yeah, yeah I guess it, this is a right. I don't know what's more exciting, what? the Longhorns behind us or just the thousands of people well, lining the streets here. I mean, we usually only see them up well, there at Jefferson. It's hey! a beautiful day though, and we just crossed Main Street and we're passing Soledad on Houston. So we are slowly approaching so, uh, where we need to be. Dr. Scott Kimball, who owns the, uh, the Longhorns, gave us this and said, Kimball Cattle Company raising walking history, which is basically what that is, is walking history. Although one gentleman said, you sure you want to hold that red flag up with all these cattle behind you right there? That's so, why you're holding it, Mike. That's why. <laughs> Here, I'll just put it on your back like no! that right there. So, anyway. okay. Oh, this is just so much fun. Hey, big shout out to all of the volunteers because they came out here like a well-oiled machine. How are you this morning? Lining the street of Houston right here with all of the fencing, setting everything up. They have done an absolutely fantastic job. Hey, how are you? And boy, we couldn't, and again, we couldn't ask for better weather too, so. No, and I think that's really, I mean, why so many people are here is that fabulous weather and we are going to send it back to Jen because she's got an exciting oh yeah uh, game, with game for the crowd yes know? indeed hey but Jen first, no oh. no no but first we want to say we of course love your outfit Jen ah. you know and we're excited about ah. our rodeo <laughs> gear too all thanks to Boot Barn should we here should we, should we do a spin and yes. show off our outfits he here he spins so well <laughs> while he walks <laughs> yes, shout out okay, to Bupar. So yes, you guys shouting. look great. You guys look Yes. Yes. Thank you. Ask you. <laughs> Okay, I'll take it from here, guys. Yes. Okay, shout out to Boot Barn. Yes, thank you for the hat. Thanks to Tiffany who helped dress me. Now, I've got Chris Derby back here with me. Now, we are going to do some trivia. The, look, the parade's right here, guys. Yeah. 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 All, right. All right, the parade's already creeping up here. So, Chris, I'll let you go with the uh, first question. Great. So, true or false, is Brad Paisley performing at this year's rodeo? True. True. That's an yeah. answer. Okay, next person, we got right here. Okay, mutton busting is where kids try to hold on to a wild running sheep. How many seconds do they need to hold on to win a shiny new buckle? Eight seconds. Let's just say yes. Okay, it's six seconds. That's six seconds, six seconds. But you're still a winner. Okay, Chris. All right, so I have that crazy question. A bull rider has to hold on for how many seconds? Eight seconds. Eight seconds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're a winner too. Okay, next question. I'll go right here. Yes. Okay, do kids or adults typically compete in the calf scramble? Uh, uh, children. Yep. yep, between 12 and 17. All right. And then Chris. That's All good. right, so I've got a question right here. Breakaway roping, is it a woman or a man sport? It's a man. Oh, it's a woman's, but that's all right. We got a winner here. All right. Cowboy. <laughs> Sorry. All right. all right, you're a winner too. You'll get some. Yes. All right, Chris. Let's talk a little bit about the history here of the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Yeah, this is our 17th year. We couldn't be more proud to carry it on with San Antonio and now Centro coming down through Houston Street. It's just a great time and a tradition now in San Antonio. 
What, is, what would you say your favorite part is? Hey, it's got to be the cattle. I mean, the longhorns, they're coming down. We got almost 50 head of longhorns coming down. This is how it used to happen in the old days, coming right down Main Street, right into the Alamo. So we're just excited. Everybody's coming down here and celebrating the rodeo. Yes. And, and a family-friendly event. This is free. You can come down, enjoy. The crowd is amazing. Yes? Yes? Okay. We want to get, you want to see if we can get some other people over here to scream. Now we are going to wait for Fiona and Mike. I feel like maybe I could see them way down there. Chris, I'm going to let you go to the stage and then I'm going to send it over to David Elder. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Thank you guys. One more cheer. Thank, yeah. Thank, Thank you, beautiful lady. <laughs> All right, David Elder, how's it going over there? How's it cooking at the Market Square with the Vaquero Cook-Off? Yeah, you know, it is cooking up out here. We got all the sausages. You can see the smoke coming up off them. And we also have some hungry people walking around. There's your free sample. Free sample. Free sample. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, y'all. Y'all enjoy. You, you guys, I got to say, we've been out here a lot. We come out here all the time. The Western Heritage Parade is just always such a blast. I don't get to come out to this side. I usually walk it around the parade route. And this is such a vibe over here. There's so much energy. You guys want some free samples? Free samples hey there you go we got some free samples right here I'm gonna walk you through this process check it out we're rolling one of these sausages up it's already cooked we're slicing it in half just like that and then when they come over there you go napkin sausage wrap napkin sausage wrap there you go y'all enjoy okay thank you and I tell you what, it's just a blast. I love cooking, so this is just an excuse to come out here and play with this huge grill that was given to us to use today by the good people over here at La Margarita. Had all those just awesome. And you can see all the tortillas that we have also from La Margarita as well. We got some beautiful flames kicking up right here. It's just a blast, baby. This is like an ideal Saturday. I have my wife and my son are hanging out over here. It's like probably one of the best Saturdays I've had in a very long time, definitely for 2024. So you got to make your way on down to the Vaquero Cook-Off here at Market Square happening right now. And of course, the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive happening off Houston Street. We're having a blast. We have so much stuff to cook. Man, I'm going to keep it going right now. Look at all this. We got so many tortillas. Free sample. Would you like a free sample? Ah, they got a free sample too. Here we go. We're going. There we go. We're giving out a bunch of free samples right now. There you go. Awesome. Y'all enjoy. Free sample. There you go. <laughs> We're having a blast, you guys. Make sure you come on out here to the Volcano Cook-Off Market Square. I'd tell you what, we got a lot more sausages to give out, so make sure you stop on by. We're going to start giving out whole sausages here in a little bit. And you know what? We're going to toss it back Houston and Jefferson Street because we got a lot of food. Head all those making sure that we're... <laughs> I know, though. Go for it, Hidalgo. Go for it. Get in there. Get in there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> what you guys got going on over at Houston and Jefferson? Yeah. Got this, got this. Got hair on your forehead. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey, hey, yes, we are just now switching off. Fiona and Mike have arrived here, but you can see we've got the cattle coming through the Longhorns. What a beautiful sight here in downtown San Antonio. Always a great time. We are reliving history as they come down here. This is the way it was. We're talking 17 years of this through downtown San Antonio. A beautiful sight. I'm going to hand the mic to Fiona. Thank you, Jen. Yes, and looking back at those beautiful Longhorn cattle, and they are just about now to pass us here at Jefferson and Houston streets. And I'll tell you what, I don't know what was better. The Longhorns behind us are all the thousands and thousands of people out there. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at these beautiful animals. And here they come now, crossing Jefferson on Houston. The Kimball Cattle Ranch, Texas Longhorns. 44 of them here today. And like they said, the, the neckerchief that Dr. Kimball gave us said it is walking history. He's raising walking history because this is the history. And and Chris, this is what the rodeo is all about too, celebrating that history of Texas. Right? This is this is exactly the, how it used to happen way back in the days and coming on down through the through the through the pathway all the way down to the Alamo. So we're happy to bring this back as a as a tradition here for the 17th year of the parade. 
And when we've had the Longhorns there at Market Square um, on SA Live, I mean, we learned a couple of interesting little facts about them, right? Well, like their, <laughs> their horns right there warm to the touch, right, Mike? Yep, because they never stop growing, and of course they have a blood supply in them as well. So, <laughs> And that was Dr. Scott Kimball right there who owns these beautiful cattle. Oh, my goodness gracious, a couple of buckboards coming by as well. I'll tell you what, we are going to take a little bit of a break here, but a whole lot more coming up. Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. SA Live coverage brought to you by your San Antonio area Chevy dealers. I'm Fiona Gorsiza. I'm my ghost, Rage, and of course, once again this year, none other than Chris Derby with us from the uh, San Antonio Stock Show Thank and you. Rodeo. And, well, I tell you what, thousands of people out here, great weather, and we've got the herding dogs. That's right. Uh, in 2015, the sheep joined the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. And since 2017, um, there are handlers, of course, uh, have been carrying on this tradition uh, because their handler, Ken Theus, passed away. Yes, indeed. And of course, you know, it's so amazing to watch these dogs herd sheep and it, the instinct behind them and how they work as that little pack. To, to do it. It's just amazing. Yeah, we will actually have them too at the rodeo right on the cattle barn. You can come on down and see these dogs do their job. It's great to see. All right, coming up next, some gentlemen that work very hard out there, the United States Border Patrol, the Laredo sector. Yes, the Laredo sector is responsible for 136 southwest border miles along the Rio Grande between Mexico and the United States. And that area of responsibility stretches from the U.S.-Mexico border in Texas to the Oklahoma and Arkansas state lines. And the United States Border Patrol has depended on horses for the border security mission for more than 100 years. A true Texas tradition. And listen to that welcome from the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your service and all of your very hard work. We appreciate it. Oh, well, what do you know? Who's, who's that? Okay, we have got, of course, David White, Executive Director and CEO, Cody Davenport, uh, from the... San Antonio Rodeo. Rodeo. Yes, San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Here, yeah, they, they, here they come right now. A couple of gentlemen, and we just talked with Cody the other day, and an uh, interview with him is going to be airing on our rodeo special coming up on SA Live this coming Thursday. And boy, oh boy, I tell you what, they run a, a big organization. It's not just during the 10 days of rodeo, is it? Yeah, no, definitely. David actually works around with 6,000 volunteers, and he's a volunteer himself to come on out. So it's great to see them out here in support, but we could not put this on without our 6,000 volunteers. And... The most important folks in the entire Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. <laughs> yes, the South Stand High School Scoopers. These students have a vision to ensure that all fellow students graduate with the knowledge and skills necessary to be college and career ready and to obtain a successful future. Yes, and thank you so much to this amazing group of high schoolers. Scoop that hoop. And on that note, we will be right back with more right after this. Back to the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive right here in downtown San Antonio. Yes, okay, so now coming up here on Houston Street, uh, we have got uh, sale, of course. Uh, the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, also known as San Antonio Livestock Exhibition or Sale. And this is what it's all about as far as scholarships and, and everything, right? Yeah, it definitely is. It's all about last year, we, or since 1984, we've actually given away about $255 million in scholarships. Right all now. Right. Now we are looking at Jack Sellers, Bear County, Palomino Patrol, and Drill Team. All of the trappings on those horses. The horses themselves are absolutely gorgeous, but look at the trappings on those animals. Yeah, and you can actually come down to the rodeo right before the rodeo starts about 6.55 every night. You can see the Palomino Patrol put on a great show right before the rodeo in the Frost Bank Center. 
and the history behind the Palomino Patrol surrounding the stunning silver tack that they have. And now, Miss, Miss Texas Junior High Rodeo Association. Yeah, Victoria Burr, Miss Texas Junior High a Princess, is proudly represents the Texas Junior High Rodeo Association and a 501c3 organization established in 2004. And it's always great when the, the Miss Rodeos get out there and they, you know, have to ride horses they never know when they participate in the rodeo. Yeah, definitely. They all actually have to ride, so it's great to be a partnership with the Miss Rodeo Junior. All right. Some folks that we know very well. Mm -hmm. San, the Bear County Sheriff Mounted Patrol. Oh, yes. The Mounted Patrol unit has several members, all who volunteer their time in this unit on top of their full-time jobs at the Sheriff's Office. And, of course, led by none other than Sheriff Javier Salazar. Man, we have known for a very, very long time right here. Yes. Here's, here's your annual photo, Bob. Sheriff, can you get a little closer? Or I've got a... Here we go. I've got a uh, stick for you right there. <laughs> great to see you, Mike. Y'all doing all right? Good, man. We're having a great. What a beautiful day you ordered up for us, man. You're good. You're good, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bless Rodeo, San Antonio. Stay safe. Ladies and gentlemen, Sheriff Javier Salazar and the Bear County Sheriff's Mounted Unit. All right. Now we have the City of Live Oak. I'm riding in a unique horse-drawn trolley today. Several dignitaries and guests of the city who are presenting uh, the presenting sponsor of all the Western Heritage Parade weekend events. And we have Councilman Amanda Morgan Jr., Place One, Councilman Ed Simix and his wife Peggy, and Councilwoman Dr. Erin Perez, Place Three, and her husband John. Yeah, and then what we're really about, again, Live Oak special guests include top scholars you know, fr uh, from France and leadership academies, fifth graders uh, from Driscoll and Garza, and, the, and just great to have them here because this is what we represent in the rodeo is all about the kids here in the state of Texas. And what's beautiful, too, is they are riding on Clydesdales. You know, they've got those huge hooves that you see and such beautiful animals, big ones, too. <laughs> All right, the KSAT Insiders. Atop this 1878 Henson Touring Wagon, driven by Chila Avila, owner of the Buggy Barn, are two of one of the station's most familiar faces, dear friend of all of ours, worked with the man for many years, David Sears. Yeah, sitting right there up front. And of course, you can be a KSAT Insider as well. It is free to do. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is just sign up and then you can enter to win things such as being able to ride in the rodeo like this oh, with I David mean. Sears. Yes. And also getting to be a part of exclusive behind the scenes content, sweepstakes and unique local experiences, experiences like getting a chance to be in this parade. Next, we've got the Alamo Management Group. Thanks to one of our generous sponsors, Alamo Management Group, who helped make this weekend possible. They're riding black and white vis a vis driven by Pistol Peck and Paula Yano Baumgartner and pulled by Harley. Yes, and of course, they are honored and proud to be involved in this event each year. Now, Rosas de Castilla was founded under the direction of Rose and Cena here in San Antonio. These young ladies are a side saddle equestrian riding group who participate in exhibitions and parades in surrounding counties and help with community services locally. Yeah, and they also are all ambassadors and they meet and greet uh, dignitaries during and their visits here in San Antonio. So we're happy to have them as part of the Western Heritage Parade this year. Yes, and they have several members ranging in age from four to 19 years. And those stunning, stunning dresses that they have on, I mean, are just breathtakingly beautiful. And imagine having to ride side saddle. Yeah, you know, recently they were on SA Live. I remember when they were trying to show us how to sit in the side saddle. Yes, indeed. Not uh, easy to do. I don't see how they do it. And they, they keep their composure. They have practiced this. And oh my gosh, what a beautiful entry. And of course, South Sand High School Scoopers doing so much to keep this parade moving. And we will be right back with more from the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive right after this. Welcome. 
Welcome back to the 2024 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. SA Live coverage brought to you by your San Antonio area Chevy dealers. And look who we've got now. Yep, boots on the ground. Texas A&M University, San Antonio, resounding roar in our hearts and our paws up. Hailing from the south side of San Antonio, they are Texas A&M University, San Antonio. Yeah, they proudly represent their institution as a symbol school of spirit and pride here in San Antonio. They're on a mission of academic excellence as a proud Hispanic serving and military embracing institution. And they are the black and silver, the Jaguars. And so welcome to Jaguars country. Viva Via AM SA. And now the Folklorico Ballet Sol de San Antonio. They were established in 2019 and under the direction of founder Alina Martin. And Ballet Folklorico Sol de San Antonio is an award-winning competitive group residing in the central area of San Antonio, highlights the Mexican uh, races, cultura, and tradiciones, and the roots and culture and traditions. Yeah, and what's so nice actually about the San Antonio Stocks and Rodeo, you can come see them down on the grounds. We'll have the Escada Musa, we'll have the dancers, we'll have them all down there. We'll also have a Chariado Rodeo that's free with your fairgrounds admission. So come on down, see them. It's a great part of our culture at Rodeo, but a great part of San Antonio's culture. And I would venture a guess that this is the most colorful entry in the Western Heritage Parade, Parade and Cattle Drive. Look at those beautiful dresses those ladies are wearing. This group is beginner through professional dancers, and they are continuing to look for dancers from all ages that would like to learn and express their talent through dance. And they have been on SA Live mm -hmm. more than a few times and always, yeah, it's just such a pleasure to have them on there and to watch them dance in those beautiful dresses. Yeah, this is really what San Antonio is all about. It's a tradition with culture, heritage, and that's the Western Heritage Parade. That's why we bring it here. It's not just all Western, it's Hispanic culture in San Antonio as well as the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Just like it was a hundred and Florico Sol de San Antonio. Yeah, coming up next here is the Holotus Pro Rodeo Association. Holotus Festival and Rodeo Carnival is the PRCA award-winning rodeo here in San Antonio, right outside of San Antonio. It celebrates 37 years of excitement. I'm going to tell you guys, I go every year in May to this rodeo. It's a cool hometown rodeo. And of course, it's held in conjunction with the rodeo is Lotus Festival's 59th Carnival, which runs through Sunday, May 5th. All right, we have the True Women drill, drill Team who performed during our rodeo. And there will be four days of music, food, fun, arts and crafts, family entertainment. They have a carnival out there and three nights of the PRCA Rodeo. So if you didn't see them here at the San Antonio Stocks and Rodeo, you can catch them back out there in May at the Holotus Carnival. Four days of music, food, arts and crafts, family entertainment. 
All right. Oh, we know these guys. Yes, they were just on the show yesterday. Yes, indeed. The high stocking miniatures and Shetland ponies are owned and trained by Robin and Jim Bailey. Located in Lavernia, these little horses come in all colors and are used for pleasure and horse show competitions. You know, and many horses in Shetlands go by different height requirements. A Shetland is typically 42 inches or lower, and a mini horse is considered to be 38 inches and fewer than that. Yeah, the high, the high stocking miniature and Shetlands provide bordering lessons for kids, so they're really great, great animals. Well, a great way for kids to start to learn how to take care of their horse, right? Fantastic. Yeah, and, and Robin was telling us yesterday that mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, if somebody's a little bit afraid of yeah. a large horse, full-size horse, great way to kind of, you know, get, get acclimated to it or little kids learning how to tack a horse. Yeah, we had the four of them on the show yesterday. And they were just the, the sweetest animals, too. Oh, well, and they do uh, the little jumping uh competitions that they do yeah the jumping competitions mm -hmm. with kids and the kids are not allowed to they have to train them so they yeah. can't touch them it's yeah. just by by various hand signals yeah and again don't forget coming out to the san antonio stock show rodeo you can check out some of these horses at the location as well during the horse event all right right now the u.s army north fifth army fort sam houston military honors caisson unit the caisson section of the fort sam houston funeral honors platoon was formed in 2002 to better honor departed soldiers being carried home honored glory at Fort Sam Houston National Cemetery. Army horses have been a part of Texas history since its inception with the 2nd Dragoon Regiment reporting in 1845 and through the construction of Fort Sam Houston's Remount Depot in 1916, which processed 200,000 horses to support World War I and additional 300,000 before closing in 1925. Yeah, it's a really great history. Real quick about this is actually Fort Sam Houston and uh, the, the National Cemetery in Washington, D.C. are the only two caisson units here in the United States. So in San Antonio, you got to check out these wonderful horses here. And of course, to all of them, thank you very much for your service. The Sale International Committee, the international room at the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, is the premier destination for international dignitaries and guests visiting from other countries. And I think there's about 75 countries that come visit the Yeah, rodeo. definitely. And it's exciting this year. We have some coming from the UK, from Italy, and even from Ireland. We've had 30 people that are going to be visiting the rodeo this year from Ireland. They want to really catch at Western Heritage and see what San Antonio, as well as the rodeo, is all about. This is a good way to show them what it's all about. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, now the Junior Vaquero Cook-Off Champion, Carn City Culinary Arts Program. Carn City. Uh, yep. Car the Carn City Culinary Arts team is a shining star in the CTE program at Carn City High School. It's led by uh, Christina Garcia, and they were last year's overall champion at the Vaquero Cook-Off. And you can also come down here and check it out today down here in the Market Square. And they were guests on our show not too long ago, cooking them for us. And uh, yeah, some great young kids learning all about the culinary arts. Yeah, Mike and Fiona, so what it's all about too is the scholarships. And this year we're giving away a $10,000 scholarship to the Vaquero Cook-Off Champion. All right, South Sand High School, Pooper Scoopers coming up right behind them. And we will be back with more from the 2024 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive right after we pay the bills. Welcome back to the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive, the official kickoff to the 75th Annual San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. All right, and now the Thomas Jefferson High School Lassos. Since 1932, the Lassos have reflected the unique heritage and history of the high school right here in town. Let's watch them perform. That's yeah, so what's so great about it is today they can actually be seen across the South Texas and the different parades and community events, and we are so blessed to have them here with us here in San Antonio at the Western Heritage Parade. Throughout the years, they have performed for heads of state, presidents, visiting dignitaries, and some of the, the nicest young gals as well. They've been on our show a few times. Mm -hmm. 
They're a service performance and spirit organization and support a girl's dream of becoming a lasso. And I gotta kinda throw a shout out, the lassos are under the direction of uh, Christina Neal and assistant director Anna Leal. And to all those educators out there, again, that's what the rodeo is about, but for all those teachers and educators out there, we just really want to thank them for all their support and helping these kids and all those people out there making sure everybody gets educated. This is our future here in San Antonio as well as the U.S. And which is what the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo is all about is scholarships and the kids, about 18,000 of them were served last year by all of the, the scholarships. Ladies, thank you very much. Get ready to tap your feet to San Antonio Pipes and Drums. Born back in 1986, they present traditional bagpipe music for the enjoyment of both musicians and, of course, audiences. And notice the kilts in a variety of Scottish and Irish tatrons. Okay, band members range from kids to great grandparents, and they play in special events, festivals, and celebrations. Ladies and gentlemen, we are hearing from the San Antonio Pipes and Drums. So again, it goes back to our tradition here in San Antonio. You know, the pipes and drums, it's still, it's, it's not just always the Hispanic heritage, it's not everybody's here, it's all this different culture here in San Antonio that makes us who we are. And there is just something about the sound of bagpipes. That it, it, it's, almost, it's almost haunting, and with the drums along with them is beautiful. And I love, as you mentioned, all the different Scottish and Irish tartans and their kilts. 75 countries participate, right? 75 to 100 countries participate in the rodeo, so this is a nice example of that. Thank you to the San Antonio Pipes and Drums. All right, now it's the Bear County Buffalo Soldiers Association. They're organized here in San Antonio, August 13th, 1999. And of course, the purpose is to research, preserve, educate, and lecture and provide an accurate and objective history of the great contributions given the United States Army's 9th and 10th Cavalries, the 24th, 25th uh, U.S. Infantry, starting back in the mid 1800s. And I gotta say, some of the coolest uniforms, too. I love those. It is, yeah. We expand our education through lectures, they do flag coloring guard, uh, presentations, and parades, and there are currently 35 troops strong and their motto is we can and we will uh, listen to the crowd welcome them. and now the ranch rodeo committee which honors the traditions of texas western heritage by showcasing the working cowboys of some of the biggest ranches across the state in the annual ranch rodeo competition uh, yeah and actually held in the frost bank center this year on thursday february 15th this year's ranch rodeo will feature cowboys from legendary texas ranches like the three to four sixes Featured in the hit series of Yellowstone, the King Ranch, Tongue Ranch, R.A. Brown, Phillip Ranch, and the Thompson Ranch, competing in events like you've never seen before. If you've never seen a ranch rodeo, come on down to the Frost Bank Center, February 15th. And oh, look at that! Chris greeting people on the side. That baby got a little, little, little kick out of that. And coming up. Well, coming up, we are going to toss to a break and got a whole lot more. Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Stick around, folks.
Welcome back to the 2024 Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Yes, the Charros de Bejar are composed of the competition teams of Bear County. They join us here now at Houston and Jefferson. And of course, the teams compete in Chariada, the national sport of Mexico. Yes, yeah, so Chariada is a celebration of the traditional methods of the animal husbandry. It is composed of nine events, and all of which are involved in horses or cattle, unlike rodeo, which emphasizes utility. Chariada emphasizes style by including floral and fancy roping. That is also why Charos and Charas, Viva Chariada. Yes, and we had a brother and sister on our show yesterday that are in this parade right now. Yes, indeed. And of course, you know, with the, the gentlemen participating in the nine different events and the ladies do that in conjunction with other riders in those beautiful dresses, again, all side saddle. Yeah, and again, don't forget, you can come on down to the San Antonio Stock Show Rodeo and see this live and see the competition live on February 24th at 4 p.m. in the Freeman Coliseum with your grounds admission. So there's no cost besides your regular grounds admission to see this great event. You know, which is the great thing about the, the Stock Show and Rodeo is that there is so, so much to do there because a lot of people think it's just the rodeo and just all the, the uh, musical acts performing. Of course, and you just see it right there. Look at that horsemanship, of course, showing off some great skills. Yeah, so also, we also have the Freeman Coliseum. There's so many different horse events. We'll have barrel racers down there that anybody can see with that grounds emission, some roping, and then also some cutting. If you've watched Yellowstone, we'll have some cutting right there in the Freeman Coliseum along with your ground stickers. Come check it out. Yeah, Which, yeah, a lot of folks have seen that on Yellowstone, and uh, now they can see it in person. All right, now we are looking at the River City Renegades, an elite drill team based out of Floresville. This drill team is comprised of talented horsemen who have dedicated their time and skills to bring the San Antonio Rodeo fans a show they won't soon forget. Yeah, and riding drills are already a huge thrill, but they bring it to a new level, and when you don't do them in the dark, they got to see this in the dark. It's incredible. Wow, okay. Owned and led by Jen Brown and Brittany Goss, their commitment to delivering new exciting performances is immeasurable. And of course, they are so proud to introduce you to all, you, introduce all of you, I should say, to this amazing group of individuals that make up the River City Renegades and really neat looking outfits too. Coming up next, we have Texas A&M Parsons Mounted Cavalry. The Parsons Mounted Cavalry is a mounted special unit within the Corps of Cadets at, of course, Texas A&M University. The unit is comprised of 85 cadets and 72 horses and mules. And Parsons Mounted Cavalry is the only collegiate mounted ceremonial unit within the United States. So, hey, let's giggle, Maggies. <laughs> yeah, and whether and whether you're an Aggie or not, you just gotta love all of these folks in uniform on those beautiful, beautiful animals. Yeah, and there are plenty of them here right now as they go by. You know, and that's when you when you bring up how this is the only mounted cavalry, you know, collegiate ceremonial unit in the country, and that's one of the other things that makes this so special down here in South Texas. And look at how beautiful all those animals are. We saw them being- We saw them arrive this morning and they were in a huge bus. Yeah, huge, yeah, I mean, semis brought mm -hmm. these animals in here. Again, the horses and some of the mules as well. All of the ladies and gentlemen in the Corps of Cadets. And then to have this in the state of Texas and in our parade with college students, again, it goes back to the, what the rodeo is all about. It all supports and helps educate the youth of Texas. And we help educate almost 100 different universities here in San Antonio, or in Texas. This also includes Texas A&M. And of course, when you think of Texas A&M, you also have to think about Fiesta when they are in the, uh, the Battle of Flowers parade, their, their band is. Yeah, their band is incredible. If you haven't checked them out, make sure you go look at that band here at Fiesta, in, during Fiesta here in April. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful group. All right, next we have the sale raffle committee. Raffle ticket committee is riding a six passenger wagonette driven by Lano Baumgartner and donated by the Buggy Barn Museum up there in Blanco. We know the Buggy Barn. Yeah, through scholarships, this committee supports many of our youth and participates in the Junior Livestock Auction and the San Antonio Stock Show Rodeo. If you buy your raffle tickets, there's so many great prizes and also supports the Texas youth. And of course you can reach out to them at sarodeo.com slash 500 club. All right. Catering, signature catering, Lisa and Neil Reagan with their daughter, Sersha, and they own Signature Catering. And they have been the premier catering outfit 
right here in town, providing the best quality and service for almost 30 years. And that horse back there agrees. <laughs> and they've been they are riding in a blue and white vis-a-vis, -vis, driven by Randy Bolgren and pulled by Davison. You know, and catering makes me think about all that great food at the rodeo. I can't wait. You know, it starts next Thursday, and here I go. I can already smell the turkey legs and the funnel cakes cooking. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a food group all unto their own. Turkey legs <laughs> Deep and fried and everything, cakes. please. <laughs> All right, right now, the 1800s covered wagon is Stacy and Ben. And here come Jasper and Jackson pulling their late 1800s covered wagon. This wagon has been lovingly restored to represent how it looked in its original condition. Yeah, and this wagon would have been used for travel and hauling goods to and from the market and owns operated by Bandit Williams and Stacy Black. And you know how we talk about how this is history making its way mm -hmm. back through town. On this, the old Chisholm Trail. On, yeah, on the old Chisholm Trail. And when you restore wagons like this, which are the ones that were actually used mm -hmm. 150 years ago and longer ago. Yeah. And what's so great about this is this all ends in front of the Alamo. So it just brings it all back to our Texas history and our heritage here in San Antonio. Great looking wagon. All right, the Fort Hood First Cavalry. The Horse Cavalry Detachment from Fort Cavazos, Texas, is a U.S. Army Special Ceremonial Unit established back in 1972. Yeah, it's manned by its current active duty of U.S. Army soldiers assigned to the 1st Cavalry Division. Their it, mission is to preserve the heritage and tradition of us and Army Cavalry during the late 1800s. The unit has appeared in events from Washington, <laughs> D.C. to Pasadena, California, and everywhere. And they are bringing the energy right now. We currently have 33 horses, four mules, and one dog. <laughs> Captain Daisha Wells and Sergeant First Class Kyle Miner led them today. And they're, of course, the South Sand Poop and Scoopers helping this parade move along. Not a quiet bunch, are they? <laughs> yeah, we, we definitely have to keep these streets clean down here. We couldn't do it without the students of and, South Sand High School. The First Cavalry, thank you for your service. <laughs> All right, coming up next, the Juan Seguin Company of Tejano Volunteers. They embark on a journey through history with Juan Seguin's company of uh, Tejano Volunteers, a passionate group of Tejano and Texian reenactors dedicated to bringing the Texas Revolution of 1835-36 to life. Yes, immerse yourself in the spirit of the times and witness the bravery and resilience of those who played a crucial role in the unfolding drama of the Texas Revolution. And if you are a history buff, well, I'll tell you one thing, this is a place to be with all the history down here throughout the years and how it's coming to life right now. All right, now we are looking at the Tejas Rodeo Rough Riders Drill Team, an award-winning precision drill team that was founded back in 2005. They perform in a drill com competitions and several parades and all over 40 rodeos at the Tejas Rodeo Company right here in Bolverde, Texas each year. So come on out and watch their amazing rodeo performances on Saturday nights, March through November. If you're interested in joining the team, more information is available at their Facebook page. Yeah, and this just keeps the, the tradition of rodeo alive throughout the whole summer. So it's not just here in February. Um, we work year round at the San Antonio Stock Show Rodeo, but also we love to support Tejas Rodeo Rough Riders. Love the outfits and those beautiful horses they are so riding patriotic. on. So patriotic. All right. All right. Now it is the Show Steppers Riding Club, an organization that helps in many community events and outreach to include working with foster, and include working with foster kids and feeding the homeless. And they also work closely with other organizations and clubs to help encourage appreciation, education, and the preservation of African Americans' of heritage of country, culture, and lifestyle. And the show steppers are under the direction and the president of First Lady Carl and LaWanda Morrison, Vice President Troy White, and the club is made up from participants from Floresville, Austin, Colleen, and San Antonio. Also a member of the show steppers today is NFL player Keeman Hall number 38 of the San Francisco 49ers. And now we are looking at the Dennis Moore Buggy Barn. Yep, Buggy Barn Museum has been involved in San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive for the past 10 years. They're excited and proud to be involved for more than a decade in our seventh year as wagon train leader. 
The Buggy Barn, Barn Museum, Museum is located in Blanco, Texas. Hey, I, I know we're both right there, just north of San Antonio. And of course, a lot of the, the buggies and buckboards and everything else have been used in uh, Hollywood productions as well as some of the episodes of uh, Yellowstone, the 1883. That's right. Yep. That is so incredibly cool. They even have an old West Town and movie studio. So incredibly cool. And just the sound of the wagon wheels, the, the, the hooves, it, it, it's great. All right, now the Sail Trail Ride Committee, established in 1980 primarily by the trail riders to preserve the traditions and heritage of the past. Yeah, and the first rodeos were born from the cattle and trail drives right here in 19 in 1800s. Sail Trail Committee coordinates and hosts 11 trail rides from different locations throughout South and Central Texas that are gonna travel collectively 1,300 miles on their way to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo this week. They all meet to camp close by the rodeo grounds for the opening day of the Stock Show and Rodeo. And today they have sent small groups from eight of the 11 trail rides to participate right here in the Western Heritage Parade. And we just picked, actually we just drove yesterday out of Mexico right on Eagle Pass with our new trail riders coming from the, the Mexico. Oh, and the Bear, uh, Bear County Precinct 4 are part of the trail ride committee. You can actually see these uh, trail riders coming into the San Antonio Stock Show Rodeo on Saturday at noon at the show. They come on through, they ride through the arena, and that's where they'll end their ride when they've, driven, when they've ridden all over the round Texas. And like this event, trail rides go on, rain, shine, cold, anything. They, I mean, just like it was 150 years ago as folks are coming in here, the weather couldn't stop them. Oh, look at this. I love it. All right, it's coming through backwards. All right, Robert and Sarah Wanat from Tiny Town Texas Museum. This is the 836th parade and show to date for them. The lead vehicle is the first self-propelled vehicle in the United States, an 1890 Morrison. And yeah. the second vehicle is an 1890 Army Wagon. It, that is very cool looking. Like we said, everything in this Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive is on hooves or wagon wheels, and uh, I think those qualify as wagon wheels. Mm, and of course, right behind them there is the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo uh, Animal Ambulance. Yeah, the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo is committed to proper care and treatment of all our animals for display of competition, exhibition, and educational purposes associated with the San Antonio Livestock Exposition. And of course, responsible parties must comply with show policies regarding proper animal husbandry. Yeah, and these are, they are down there every night of the San Antonio Stocks and Rodeo, just like the competitors, animals are competitors. So we make sure we take care of both our competitors as well as the animals in the arena. All right, and the sweepers are gonna come up behind them. Yep, and we are gonna take a little bit of a break, but we still have more. Oh, the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Stick around. out there and of course now it's kickoff what comes next yeah it's san antonio stock show and rodeo and hey here's to 75 years this year come on down join us february 8th through the 25th and Frost a lot Big of the Center. folks you just saw here today you can also see throughout the course of the uh, san antonio stock show and rodeo of course one more important bit of business that we have to talk about Yes, we have, uh, of course, uh, the, fan, the favorite. fan favorite to let you know about. Voting started earlier this week, and right now we can announce the winner. It is South, South Sand. Sand. Let's yes. hear it for them. Congratulations to South Sand High School for being the fan favorite yet again. Yep. All right, Chris, so good to see you again. Thank you very much for all of your help and for everybody for coming down here, for everybody watching. It has been great seeing folks line the streets here of Houston and kind of reliving a little bit of history. <laughs> yes, and don't forget to watch SA Live at 1 p.m. all week next week, especially as we gear up to rodeo. Yep, and what do we say here? Yep. Let's, Let's rodeo, rodeo, San Antonio. San Antonio.